Welcome to the Results Realty and Results Land Co. channel. I'm Alan Howard, owner and broker of both companies. Per uh, earlier statements in one of my other videos, I wanted to discuss with you just for your knowledge how auctions work. There's a myriad of different styles. The most traditional is the public auction. You advertise, put signs up, so on and so forth. People show up and actually physically bid at a live auction. <clears throat> These have been going on for decades, centuries actually. Uh, I think everyone is pretty familiar with that. So you have the public auction. There are uh, an, another variation of the public auction is what uh, a few companies are calling their private auction. It's actually a private list situation. They do the same marketing. They send out sale bills. They have their buyers that they're in contact with that they send these uh, flyers out to obviously <clears throat> to make them aware and then the buyers the bidders actually call in and see where the bids are and then they bid appropriately and then the broker or agent goes back and calls all the other bidders that have been participating to let them know what the current bid is and then they can uh, participate and up that bid and then so on and so forth and it keeps going and there's an end date in sight unless there is a time period that at the very end that the broker chooses if they've got a multitude of people that are still bidding vigorously so that is you know a private auction or a phone-in auction if you if you choose to look at it that way the latest is internet auctions and you will hear Everyone telling you how they've got the latest and the greatest and they're, they're the only ones that are doing this. They're the, you know, they have this whole thing wrapped up. Truth is, everyone the brother is doing an internet auction at this point in time for a myriad of reasons. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's not a lot of inputs involved. You don't have to book a facility. You don't have to show up. You don't have to really do a whole lot other than get it online. <clears throat> now, again, my I, I don't want to... Uh, express my opinion as to whether this is the right thing to do or it's not right thing to do. I just want to make everyone aware of how they use work, what the rules of engagement are, so buyers and sellers understand what's actually going on when you're either A, bidding or B, selling on an internet auction. So from a, I'm going to put myself in a buyer's position <clears throat> on an internet, an internet auction. All, I shouldn't say all because I don't know all, but most of the sale bills that I've seen clearly state, and it will state in their internet uh, advertising as well and on their websites, that the identities of bidders, of online bidders, is to be held strictly confidential. That you can see their bid online, but the actual identity of the bidder is strictly confidential. So, with that said, as a buyer, I particularly don't, don't want to participate in that sort of situation because I have no idea who I'm bidding against. I have no idea if, if it's another agent bidding it, if it's one of the family members bidding it. You just don't know. There's no way to know because they are strictly confidential. Now, the I'm going to come back around to this. There's another combo or hybrid type of auction that has also uh, gaining some credibility and some uh, some credentials is the public and simultaneous uh, live online bidding. So you actually have an actual public auction where you gather the people together in a conventional format. You actually have the auctioneer come and you have live bidding going on at that point in time along with online bidding from bidders that are logged on to the site and are actively bidding. Again, those, those type of auctions, uh, they, they gather a great deal of momentum. I'm not going to say that they don't because they do. However, again, from a buyer's standpoint, exercise some caution because again, on those sale bills as well, just as a strictly online auction is that online bidders identity is strictly confidential. So let's say that you're bidding and you end up acquiring that and you are wondering, you know, 
you know, at a live auction, you always know who your competitor was, you know, who was bidding against you. You, you understand that because you've, you've seen them, you talk to them eye to eye, you know who they are. <clears throat> in an online situation, you have no idea. It could be anybody, there's just, I'm sorry if I have a suspicious nature of that, I just can't quite get all in with that situation. So, again, that is just, uh, I want you all to be aware of what you're getting into if and then you decide to participate in an online auction. You can certainly call me or email me, alan at resultsre.com, or feel free to give me a call directly here at the office. I always have plenty of opinions and plenty of things that I would like to discuss with you. Until the next time, happy trails.